Alex Pandre here back with another video. In today's video, I'm excited about this one because I'm going to teach you guys one of my favorite routines with a deck of cards. And it's one of the first things that I do when I take out a deck of cards and perform for somebody. It's called the card to pocket routine where a card, a selected card or a named card from the deck of cards disappears and appears in your pocket. Now there's a lot of different ways to do it. The reason I'm doing this video is that I performed this routine uh, on Chris Ramsey's channel. If you take a look at the video where me and Chris Ramsey went to Bermuda and I performed some routines for uh, these girls and one of them was the card to pocket routine. A lot of people were asking the question about the card to pocket routine and uh, I figured I'd make this video show you the mechanics behind it, the basics of it. There's a lot of ways to do it, there's a lot of ways that I do it, but let's get into the explanation right now of everything you need to know and then you can go out and blow some minds. Okay, so there are a lot of different ways that you can do this routine. Here is the most standard way that I do it. Um, you have a deck of cards and you pull out the deck of cards. Now I always ask a spectator what their favorite card is rather than have them pick a card. If you see from my previous videos, you know this is my preferred method to get a card selected and it works with the presentation as well. So the presentation is this, look, I have a deck of cards here and uh, I want you to think of your favorite card. Do you have a favorite card by any chance? they say it and at this point I'm gonna go and find it but because the presentation is going to be I put a card in my pocket from before we started alright so the idea is that you want to steal the card that they name and put it in your pocket one little tip for this is that I would have a Queen of Hearts which I do in my wallet anyway uh, I have one card here uh, in my wallet from a red knock deck and it's the Queen of Hearts now why do I do this if they say Queen of Hearts then it's a hit. And usually females would say Queen of Hearts if you ask them for their favorite card. So I always, this is just a little extra, little bonus. I always keep one card in my wallet. It's the Queen of Hearts along with my baby picture. That's my baby picture right there. You can tell it matches. Don't you dare laugh at that, I heard you. All right, um, so I keep all these weird things in here, but I do have one card just in case they say the Queen of Hearts, I could go straight into this. If they don't, if they say another card, what I end up doing is stealing a card from this deck and into my pocket. And how do I do this? Um, it's very easy. So, so let's say they say a nine of hearts, for example. Now this particular method of finding the card and culling it to the top or wherever you want it, it could be found in another video of mine that I'm gonna link everything I'm referring to down in the description below. So they say a card, say they say nine of hearts, okay? I'm going to tilt up so they don't see and find the nine of hearts right there. And I'm gonna cull it to the top. So I pull and it gets called to the top of the deck. Okay, that's step number one. Step number two, is, and I do this under the guise of saying, um, I don't know if it's here. So I go, I find it, and this is all tilted up, and then I turn to the spectator and I go, look, I don't know if it's here. Oh, that's funny. This, you know what? I put a card in my pocket before I even got here. And this is where you're gonna do the main move of this routine. Now, I'm not gonna go into the exact details of the move um, because it is a hard move and it'll take an hour to learn. But again, I have linked in the description. Uh, I did a video with Shin Lim teaching my tips on the diagonal palm shift. So that's exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm going to palm off the nine of hearts from the top using a diagonal palm shift. And it's gonna look like this. As I point to my pocket like this, I tilt my hand and I'm gonna perform the move as I put the deck on the table or I give it to them and straight away go to my pocket so the card is palmed in your hand straight away take it out of your pocket and then show it all right for phase number one now just a few tips and I'll show you the exposed view but again like I said I'm not going into the detail of it uh, from the top it's a little bit different I pull with the pinky just like this now instead of having half of the deck as cover I'm going to use this hand as cover and this first finger curled as sort of weight on it okay because before we had half the deck but now we're doing it from the top so I need some weight on here so I push and this finger is here so I push and it's here all right that's the first step from here push down pull with the pinky and now you're in this position all right now from here you do the exact same thing for a diagonal palm shift all right and again the, the link is in the description below for Shin Lim's free tutorial uh, it's me and Shin Lim talking about the diagonal palm shift if you do want to purchase the diagonal palm shift I do have an hour-long tutorial on it with everything that you can do it's a lot on that download so if you really want to learn it right I do suggest that as well I think it's only 10 bucks so from here I'm going to diagonal palm shift top card 
So they name the card, call it to the top, and I go, it's funny because in my back pocket, I tilt the deck, I pull, I had one card, and I give them the deck. Here, hold the deck, or I put it on the table, spread the deck, and this, this, my hand is here, and now you have a really nice display as I come to the back pocket. I say, look, I had one card in my back pocket, and I actually shoved this down into my pocket, and then straight out, okay? So it's gonna look like this, put it in, and take it out, okay? Something like that. And you say, and it's exactly the nine of hearts, the card that they just said. All right, for the second phase, you have the nine of hearts. You say, look, we'll do it again. I know what you're thinking. Really? All right, I gotta film this, because this is, all right, so, we're obviously in New York City right now, and uh, I was trying to do this tutorial, and apparently a guy sets up right next to me and starts banging the drums. They're like, it's not even drums, they're like tin cans. Here, let's go see what's going on. Along with all the traffic here in New York. That's why it looked like it. Look around. Look how many people I detained. So I guess uh, we gotta go somewhere else to do this tutorial. trying to teach him a card to pocket routine. Now I can't. All right, I think we're in luck. Uh, we're just gonna go find another place to shoot, but um, we got we got the NYPD here. I was like. <laughs> Now I can film my tutorial. Thanks, dude. Maybe the cop was a subscriber of mine and he saw that I was filming a tutorial and he's like, hey, he's probably, you know, can't do it because of the banging. What do you think? That's Bo, by the way. We're here just chilling. All right, back to the explanation. Okay, so the second phase of the routine, where were we? The second phase, uh, we'll use the same card. Uh, it was a nine of hearts. The second phase, you take out the card from your back pocket and go, look, impossible, one card in my back pocket is the nine of hearts. Uh, now you're going to make the card disappear or uh, switch or change for another card um, and basically get rid of the nine and you're gonna take it back out of your pocket uh, for the second time. So the easiest way that I do this is is I place the card back on top and I ask them, do you know where the card is right now? They're gonna say on top. I go, yeah, but if I do this, right, and I do a little shake action, you could do anything at this point, do that uh, or whatever, you get the nine of hearts to disappear. So I would just do a double lift at this point and show that it's not there, it's not on top, it's not on the bottom. Where do you think it is? And I always ask him this question, where do you think it is? And I give him a little bit of time to respond. And at this point, I kind of like come back and relax. And and as I relax, I tilt my hand again in the same position I'm going to need to to start the same move that we did in the first phase. So I go, huh, where do you think it is? And if they don't, you know, they don't get it by now, I do this and it's the same exact thing and they go, no way, not in your pocket. And I go, yes, one card and I do a diagonal palm shift from the top, here hold the deck, in my back pocket, one card and one card only and again I shove it in there and then maybe I take it out with the fingertips. One card is in my back pocket, that's the nine of hearts. They freak out at this point. I go, okay, okay, okay. One more time, last time. You gotta watch very carefully, okay? Now, at this point, you could do the same thing again, all right? And depending on the environment, whatever, um, or you can do a color change at this point or a switch or anything. One idea is to take the card and you go, okay, one last time, one last time. Watch very carefully. If I shake, it's gone. It's not here. It's not here. Where do you think it is now? as if it was a, gonna be a different response. At this point, you've switched the card and the card is still on top. Whatever you do, the card still has to be on top, okay? Because for the finale of this, you're going to make the whole deck appear in your back pocket, leaving the one card in your hand, all right? So whether you do the first time, like you do a double lift and you show that it's not there again, whether you remember the card is on top, you do a top change, so I would do a top change and then shake and it's gone, put this card in the middle. In any case, whatever you feel comfortable with, the card still has has to be on top for this final phase. For the final phase, this is what you're going to do. Okay, the way I do it like this, the thumb kicks it out and it's gonna get a break, just like that. So basically, I'm going to hold the deck like this, and I'm gonna come away with all the cards except the top card, okay? It's very easy. You don't want to do like that and then get the break at this point, okay? Maybe you do this and then you come back and you get a small break. All you need is really a break. So I just, with the thumb, I, 
pop it off like this, okay? I put pressure here and I pop it off. And this way I could get my thumb along the whole back of it. All right, I do this, I do this. Where do you think it is now? You ask the same question. You need a little bit of misdirection, not much. So at this point, I go show the back pocket. If I feel like they're staring too closely to my hand, I'm gonna add a joke into it. And this is all the time the joke that I do. You can use this for everything. It's kind of dumb, um, but at the same time, it, it does what you need. Um, so I do this, it disappears, right? But they, it's still on top. And I go, do you know where it is now? And then I cut them off and I go, spring the cards. And I go, do you know what that's called? A lot of the times they say shuffling, they say whatever, they say, I don't know. And I go, oh, it's called showing off. And then, ha, 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 that gets a laugh. Whether it's an awkward laugh or not, it really doesn't make a difference at this point. It's a stupid little joke, but that's when I go and I go, no, it's in my back pocket. And I don't make a big deal out of this. I don't try to palm the deck secretly or anything. I just come back, move this a little bit forward as I move the rest of the deck to my back pocket. And I say, look, inside of my back pocket, are all the cards okay so this is how it's going to be from the second phase after you do it the second time let's say you use the top change kind of thing you say nine of hearts okay oh my god okay we'll do it one more time this is how we're going to do it if i just shake now boom it's gone do you know where it goes now they go no i go do you know what this is called they go no i go showing off <laughs> no it's in my back pocket now at this point instead if you can bring the whole deck out but I think something even better to create the suspense is I drop everything in my back pocket and I just pull out the bottom card. So I go to my back pocket and I pull out the bottom card and I say, in my back pocket is one card, the five of spades. That's not it. And I make them hold it, okay? This, you're holding like this. You don't have to make a big deal out of it. A lot of people try to hide it at this point in this part of the routine. You do not need to because all attention is on here, okay? And this is covering pretty much the whole deck so if you're not like this then you're good straight on is fine this is fine this is fine you get the idea I pull out the five of spades and I go oh no okay we messed up snap your fingers they snap their fingers I go in and I take out another card from the back and I go one card in my back no that's the okay keep snapping your fingers everybody snap your fingers and they all do this and I again last time before I pull out the whole deck I go like this pull out every single card and I go, look, actually the whole deck is in my back pocket and it's nice if it comes out messy like this, throw it into their hand, put it on the table and I go, one card is left here in my hand, snap it like this, turn it over, it's a nine of hearts, then I do this, I do this, and I take my bow. I don't do that, but you could do that if you want. All right, so there you have it. That was the routine. It's a very simple routine. It's nice because you have the interaction with the audience and the last phase, you could really build it up. You could take out two, three cards, whatever, and at the end, it's a really nice surprise. And what I used to do, and this is another little tip, like with the Queen of Hearts in the back pocket, I would always have a duplicate card, okay? So for the first phase, it's very, very clean. I would force the duplicate card using a classic force, and if you want to learn the classic force, I do have a video on it. Link is in the description. You'll see a whole bunch of links in the description for everything I talked about here. But I would do a classic force and I'd place it, control it to the top, right? And I go, look, in my back pocket is one card and have the duplicate in my back pocket. Boom, all right? Throw that in the middle of the deck. At this point, they see it goes in the middle. Remember, it's a duplicate. Boom, snap your fingers and now do the same thing. Diagonal palm shift from the top, do it like that. So like I was saying, if you feel that doing a diagonal palm shift from the top is daunting and it's a move that might not be able to get away with until you practice it for a while, you can do this with other palms. Yes, you can do it with a top palm, but and if you do want to learn the top palm, I do have a video on that. I have a video on everything, don't I? No, not yet. Uh, but you could do it with a top palm. You could also do it, and an easier way to do it is with a gambler's cup. So gambler's cup from the bottom, all you have to do is get the card to the bottom. All right, guys, if you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. We're up to 35,000 now uh, on the road to 100. So I said in another video, once I get to 100,000 followers, I will do video uploads every day for as long as I can manage that. Uh, hit the bell notification because I'm going to do a lot of things this summer with a lot of content. So you want to be quick with it. So there's a lot more videos to come. We will see you this summer. We're going to go enjoy the city and we will see you guys next time. Peace. I ain't a man that you've been.